honest company jumping in its U.S. trading debut, closing above its IPO price significantly as the business's focus on health and wellness helped it grow during this pandemic. Joining us for a great conversation now, Honest co-founder, chief creative officer, Jessica Alba. Honest CEO, Nick Vlejos as well. Bloomberg Technology, Emily Chang with us to, well, kick things off, Emily. I know you're a new loyal user. I am a loyal customer, Jessica Nick. Thank you so much for joining us. I've been using Honest products with my children for years now. In fact, I just edited my subscription bundle this morning. Jessica, I just want to start off talking about the founding story. You got the idea when you were pregnant with your first child to start a clean consumer products company. You have lobbied Congress on chemicals in consumer products. How does it feel today to be now a publicly traded company with a $2 billion market cap? Uh, I feel like I'm in a dream, <laughs> to be honest. It's like, wow, is this really happening? Um, it's so cool. Um, I'm just, I'm so grateful for my Honest team, for my partner, Nick Vlahos. Um, when he joined me, we put together a strategy um, around what we wanted to do, and, um, and we, you know, worked very hard. Um, at, at making that, that strategy really come to life. And, uh, and here we are today. And so, um, you know, in our, our very loyal community, um, thank you for being part of our community and, and bringing us into your home and, and trusting us with the most precious person in your life, your, your little people that you're raising and you want them to thrive. <laughs> Um, the, the most precious people indeed. Nick, you now have partnerships with Amazon and Target and a range of products that go beyond baby products. What's the vision now that you've raised this cash? Could we see you do acquisitions? And if so, what kinds of brands and products? Yeah, I mean, we love the fact that we have Honest as a lifestyle brand that can go across multiple categories. And that's what makes this brand so unique in that that promise around clean ingredients, around sustainability, around social responsibility really resonates not only in the diapers and wipes business, but our personal care, our skin and beauty business, as well as our household and wellness. And what we saw this past year, uh, over 34% of new consumers at Honest.com came through the skin and the personal care space. So as you think about our growth, as we look to the future, you know, we're going to be focused on this brand and the ability to continue to extend this brand in a very methodical uh, way mm -hmm. um, before looking at and exploring anything from an M&A perspective. We're happy with the portfolio that we have and the ability to go even deeper and wider within the Honest brand. Nick, of course, that portfolio coming weathered extraordinary times of the year of 2020. And I know you're where you used to come from, Clorox, having to raise prices, talking about, well, the circumstances in terms of the price of goods going up. What do you see in terms of how you're having to navigate bottlenecks, supply chain issues going forward? Yeah, you know, what I have is, you know, over 30 years of experience within this industry. And there's always rainy days and there's always input costs that shift and change. You know, what I've learned over the years is preparing for those rainy days. So for an example here mm -hmm. at Honest, you know, we have three-year productivity plans. Not only are we driving breakthrough innovation with three-year strategic product plans, uh, but we're also looking at, from a three-year standpoint, where do we turn around and navigate, really, how do we drive waste out of the system? So when these input costs start to shift on us, you anticipate and you're prepared for that. And that's why when you look at our margin profile, you know, since 2018, we've expanded our gross margins here roughly 1,100 basis points. In this past year, mm -hmm. during the pandemic, we picked up roughly about 370 basis points of gross margin expansion. So what we're about, as Talking we look about. to the future, is really you know, consistency on the top line, margin expansion, and uh, div really driving good growth. Talking about good growth, talking about rainy days, Jessica, what an extraordinary time 2020 was. And I know that you looked at it from a philanthropic endeavor in terms of donating millions of wipes, millions of diapers. You've got advocacy for women. But I think of you and your story when you talk about being born to hardworking Mexican-American family, parents working multiple jobs. You know how difficult it is to parent. And, well, your price point now as chief creative officer, are you always going to stick for an aspirational client, a more premium product, do you think? 
You know what's interesting is when you have the types of values that we have embedded in uh, Honest and you are standing for um, people's uh, health and wellness, when you are thinking through um, the planet and sustainability, and when you have ethical practices across the board and also are thinking of diversity and inclusion, all of those things, people expect for you to um, really offer it at the right price. And for us, we want to offer it at the right price that consumers um, are really gravitating towards. Um, so for us, we, we're, we're pretty um, flexible with what that looks like as long as it continues to drive good growth. Um, you know, we want to always increase our margins and, uh, and have really good, strong growth for the future. Jessica, last quick question. You know, you're stepping down as chair after this offering, and you obviously have a very successful other career. How involved do you plan to continue to be and make sure that integrity and creativity is still there? You know, I'm in the office every day. Um, I try to get home for, for bath time and dinner with my kids mm -hmm. uh, at least a few times a week. Um, it's not realistic that it's going to happen five, five yeah. nights a week, but I at least try a few times a week, you know, also help with the homework and all of that. But um, I'm, you know, at the office every day. I'm Jessica. committed to the growth, and that won't change.